Kia ora and aroha. Greetings and love from New Zealand. The reference that I'm using today is from my souvenir collection and this is from Malaga in Spain. I'll have my own take on this um, painting and I hope you enjoy it. I'll be using watercolors for this uh, painting. So I start by sketching the shape of the guitar and um, then I do the wet on wet technique as I wet the paper and then apply the paint so that you can see it's spreading all over. Now this paper is um, more than 165 GSM and lesser than 300 GSM. Unfortunately, I threw the paper out when I bought the sketchbook uh, because it was a long time ago and that time I wasn't planning to do any videos so I didn't require it. But um, this paper does buckle a bit so I cannot use much of watercolor layers. It's okay for a few. And I've already used now, by the time I come to this stage, I've already used about three layers. And then I noticed that the water was seeping through at the back. So I had to allow it to dry and do whatever I wanted to do again. If you're watching my video for the first time, thank you so much. And I hope you continue watching my videos and subscribe and also hit the notification bell. And a big thank you to those who have been here before. I'm doing splattering now. Splatter the paint with a brush or a toothbrush, whatever you have. And um, while you're splattering, just cover the other bits of the paper, if there is any paper at the side, or the actual painting itself. I tend to do splattering mostly for my paintings in the end also, so I don't worry much about splatters. And here I take um, the two colors that were in the souvenir, that's the orange and the yellow, and um, just lay a very light wash first and then a darker wash. At this stage, um, I let the painting dry. I do another layer for the background and a bit darker but I still didn't like it and waited for that to dry also and then I used burnt sienna and uh, by now I felt that um, everything was going wrong in my watercolors and somehow I was not enjoying the process so I had two things that I could do one is throw it out which I never do I never throw out any of my paintings if I don't like it I either try to rectify it and um, that's why I named the video um, what Bob Ross used to say he used to always say in art there are no mistakes there are only happy accidents and um, at the end of it I was pretty happy with what I achieved so this is my guitar which I uh, actually brought to do the drawing I didn't want to do the drawing from um, the souvenir one but once I came to the strings of the guitar, I noticed that um, my shape of the guitar was wrong. So I, um, at this stage, apply water and lift off the paint. And it's not a good look. So I tried to do that. Then I tried to put some watercolor over it and then acrylics over it. Uh, I took cad yellow and cad orange and tried to apply but um, it was still uh, showing. So then I take uh, acrylics uh, white first and mix it up with yellow and then the orange. And um, I just uh, concentrate on the guitar because um, I wanted to get first the shape a bit right. At least it's not perfect but something better than before because my strings were going in a different direction and um, here I felt I was getting in onto something so I continued with the process. I'm, I basically do more of oils and um, with oils it's you know very easy to rectify your mistakes 
and um, that's why I enjoy oil, oil painting because um, I make so many mistakes and then just keep doing it over and over again but um, and there are, there are people who do it for acrylics but I just can't do it I just don't get the proper blending so now I decided to change the background and um, that's how I waste a lot of time sometimes <laughs> but um, if I'm not happy I just keep working so what I use now is Payne's Grey. I never use black directly. I add um, colors to make it um, sort of a grayish, a darker gray color. And um, I use sometimes alizarin crimson and um, thalo blue to make it into. But I have the actual um, Payne's Grey with me and I've used that. I hope you guys are doing well and remaining safe in whichever part of the world you are in. It's really bad at the moment, so stay safe. I'm using white and then I'll use black on it because uh, I've already used black and it doesn't show. So here I'm doing the lines again with a white uh, brush. And these uh, brush pens are also acrylics. So I want to do the strings actually in black but i'm first doing it in white so that it's seen better otherwise um, it won't be seen i mean the effect is not that good so now i take a black brush pen and um, this is um, the faber castell acrylic uh, fine liners and uh, this is not a fine liner this is a brush pen in the set and I just do whatever pattern I have on the head on the guitar. And then I apply, so I shift whites and blacks and try to get the effect according to what I desire. And that's it. And I'm signing my painting. I always come back and think, oh, you know, I keep it for five minutes and I look at it and I thought, oh, the black is looking too boring. So I take the crinkly bit of the sheets that come in between the biscuit layers and um, apply paint to it and then make marks with it. You can use many other things to apply marks. I also use some silver glitter and uh, make some lines with the silver glitter. It looks very nice on the black, though you can't see it um, on the camera, but um, it's really a lovely effect. So there we go. I, that's why I don't like to throw out my paintings. I uh, try to do something out of it and I love the uh, result that I get. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.